वेलकम बैक टू योर स्टूडेंट्स वो स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक व्हिच इज पोस्ट ट्रांसलेशनल मॉडिफिकेशन सो आफ्टर स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन सो ऑलवेज न्यूली सिंथेसाइज पॉलीपेप टाइचिंग अंडर गो फोल्डिंग एंड प्रोसेसिंग सो व्हाई दिस इज नेसेसरी फॉर प्रॉपर फोल्डिंग एंड प्रोसेसिंग फॉर प्रोटीन इन द फाइनल स्टेज ऑफ ट्रांसलेशन द नेसेंट पॉलीपेप टाइचिंग और न्यूली सिंथेसाइज पॉलीपेप टाइचिंग इज folded and processed into a biological active form so during or after its synthesis the polypeptide progressively assumes its native conformation with the formation of appropriate hydrogen bonds uh, like covalent bonds wonder wall interaction ionic bond formation hydrophobic interaction and disulfide bond formation so some newly made protein both prokaryote and as well as in eukaryotes do not attain their final biological active conformation until they have any alteration or modification so these modification and changes in protein structure made after synthesis on ribosome is known as or achieve its biological active form the new polypeptide must fold in a proper three dimensional conformational and this is the more uh, this processing reaction which is called as post transcriptional modification so changes which occur after translations are uh, peptide chain undergoes many foldings uh, mis for um, many foldings so some amino acid might be changed carbohydrates or lipid can be added peptide can be activated by addition or removal of some residues like acetate phosphate methyl group etc and change in hydrogen bond tendency which result in secondary and tertiary structure change so some of the protein might remain in cytosol while other are transported across the membrane or even with uh, where they required even important imported into cellular organelles like in mitochondria and chloroplast to accomplish their function where it's required so this uh, this post transcription processing diagram showing so this is post translational modification of insulin at the top you can see the ribosome translated a messenger rna sequence this is messenger rna sequence you can see and this is b chain this is signal peptide this red color as these are keynotes this is chain peptide this is a chain peptide this is c peptide in this color so after uh, messenger and sequencing in protein insulin and the pass the protein through the endoplasmic reticulum this is endoplasmic reticulum this is protein which is passed through this cytosol to endoplasmic reticulum where it cut folded and held a shape of disulfide bond there is you can see this is cut and folded with the, the disulfide bond then the proteins passes through the golgi apparatus this is golgi apparatus and then protein passes and uh, golgi vesicle transported and then the where it is packed into vesicle this is vesicle formation and uh, in the vesicle more parts are cut off and it turn into a mature insulin as you can see this is carboxypeptidase e produce mature insulin so this is mature insulin and this was native or newly synthesized polypeptide and after post translation modification this is produced mature insulin so but uh, there are different types of uh, modification occur uh, after uh, post translation modification like phosphorylation glycosylation sumylation disulfide bond what happened during hydroxylation it uh, as you can see in this diagram the attachment of hydroxyl group to side chain of protein especially in proline and lysine amino acid what happened during methylation add some methyl group usually in at the lysine and arginine residues so lipidation attached a lipid such as fatty acid to a protein chain acetylation add a acetyl group and at and and terminus to protein at the lysine residues disulfide bond formation covalently linked 
disulfide bond between as a no that disulfide bond always form between sulfur uh, sulfur sulfur so cysteine residues which contain this disulfide bond sumalation is a small protein ubiquitin like modified which target protein and degrade this protein glycosylation attaches sugar usually an n or o in an amino acid side chain ubiquitination add ubiquitin to lysine residues of target protein for degradation phosphorylation as name suggests add a phosphate group to serine or threonine you can see their attachment of phosphate group so types of ptms are after synthesis is complete protein can be modified by the various methods such as trimming covalent modification and proteolytic processing so what happened during trimming removal of the part of translated sequence with the help of protease or protease protein activation and what happened during covalent modification uh, uh, chemical modifications like glycosylation hydroxylation carboxylation and what happened during proteolytic processing or ubiquitination highly specific degradation of protein can be achieved through addition of one or several ubiquitin molecule to target protein so what happened during this ubiquitination process it's a target protein it's mainly tagged protein newly synthesized protein for degradation occurs in misfold dead proteins toxin proteins so sometimes it switch off or on se several signaling pathways as you can see this uh, ubiquitination pathway in plant hormone signaling pathways it to works and mainly it's work done in the proteasome machinery so what happened ubiquitin protein mainly uh, covalently linked with the lysine residues of protein molecule and then ubiquitin this tagged protein what is uh, then a uh, what sumolation what is sumolation it's a small ubiquitin related modifier protein around 100 amino acid residues protein which bind to target protein in the same ways way as ubiquitin so they also confirm transcription regulatory activity of the protein so help in the transport of target protein from cytosol to nucleus so uh, the sumo one modification ran gap the first uh, identify sumo substrate lead to its trafficking from cytosol to nuclear pore complex the sumo modification of nanin leads to movement from centrosome to nucleus in many cases sumo modification in transcriptional regulator correlate with inhibition of transcription one can refer as gene rifs on sumo protein many more examples for sumolation and uh, after that disulfide bond formation and name suggests stabilize protein structure and involve in redox process disulfide bond is type uh, mainly protein form between the sulfur atoms of two cysteine residues during the biosynthesis of protein in cell disulfide bond are important in protein folding as they play a significant role in both protein structure and protein function so dur during in function lipidylation so acetylation um, regulates many diverse function including dna recognition protein protein interaction and protein stability covalent modification mainly 